we have a cute butt. Oh, thank God. What happened? What happens to their bodies? Don't worry. Siren's evil. I've got it under control. Evil! Evil! I apologize if my personality has offended you. I'm going to say that in the future. Hi, everybody. It's your girl, Tofu. Today, we are trying out a new game. We are checking out Mass Effect, the remastered one, and um, the Legendary Edition. And in honor of what we're doing today, I decided to wear my, what I call, my Mass Effect dress. Look how cute that is. That's adorable. I wish you guys could see the entire thing, but I'm not going to get up because I'm too lazy for that. But <laughs> I thrifted this dress probably like five or six months ago, but I just never had an excuse to wear. And sometimes I have to be in a certain mood to wear something. But then, but then I was scrolling through Twitter um, a few weeks ago and I saw this dude, I saw this guy, this Mass Effect guy wearing armor, armor that looked like this. I was like, those colors! I have those colors in a dress! I'm going to wear- I'm going to wear it, and I'm going to check out the game. If only for the fashion alone, I got to see this. I got to see what the hype's about. I gotta- I gotta know what's going on in style. Um, I actually did a poll a while back ago asking you guys what game I should check out next, and it was between Resident Evil Remastered and Mass Effect Remastered, and what's interesting about this poll is that the Resident Evil community, it, it won. It won the poll. However, the Mass Effect stands really showed through in this comment section. They completely overtook it. They just invaded that comment section and I could see nothing. For as long as I was scrolling, it's just Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass Effect. So I guess the poll is meaningless. They were like, you'll enjoy the characters, you'll enjoy the story, you like the world. And then someone said romance. Someone said there's romance and I'm like, Say less. <laughs> Say less! <laughs> I'm there! I'm ready! Let's do it! Yes. Yes, I am that easy. So, uh, we're going to give Mass Effect a, a chance, and I'm- well, and really, what I'm doing here is I'm giving myself the opportunity to partake in my very favorite thing when it comes to doing playthroughs. Shipping. Shipping people. I live for it. Except this time, instead of shipping two people that literally have no romantic interest in one another whatsoever, which is what I usually do, um, apparently this time we're going to be shipping people that are like supposed to- are meant to be shipped with one another. And we're gonna be doing that shipping on a ship in outer space. Cool! So yeah, that, that's my understanding of what's, uh, what's going on here. I will be disappointed if I find out that that's not what this is. <laughs> now speaking of romance and shipping people, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Kippo, for giving us a little romance in our own lives, for giving us uh, the opportunity to ship ourselves with real people. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Kippo. It's a dating app made specifically for us gamers, serious gamers, casual gamers, people who are looking for like romantic relationships or even people who are just looking for friends. It's all on there. Anything goes as long as you're over the age of 18, okay? I've been really impressed with Kippo for like a few different reasons in particular. Um, one has to be is that they gave me a space to actually include my pronouns in my like dating profile. Like that's... That's really awesome. I really like that. I like that inclusivity and it really made me feel like this was a space, this was a platform where, you know, Kippo encourages people to truly be their authentic selves, like, and, and show who they are to other people. Um, and then I think the, the other thing that really stood out to me about Kippo was probably like the personality cards that you like customize and choose for like your profile. There was a Harry Potter personality card where like I chose that like I'm Slytherin and then you can choose your Patronus and then for my Patronus I was able to choose a ginger cat and in my head that was kind of a way of me like thinking about Thor and I liked that idea of you know Thor being my Patronus. Uh, there was also a really cool personality card uh, for anime. And, oh I love that one. That one has to be my favorite card probably that I can put on my profile. It's just geeking out about Attack on Titan. <laughs> I don't think another anime in my entire life will ever top Attack on Titan for me. I feel like with the inclusivity and with all the different ways to like show other people who you are, any potential partners or dates or just friends that I meet on Kippo like would have a really good idea of who I am as a person just by taking a look at my profile that I've like curated beautifully. <laughs> I, I seriously had so much fun making that profile. I, I feel like you can actually tell quite a bit about a person just based on some of their interests and you can tell sometimes how compatible they might be based on what games they play 
or what anime character they they love the most or or what hogwarts house do they identify with like in general i tend to get along really well with hufflepuffs i don't remember and then slytherin women other slytherin women i tend they're beautiful i love them i believe in slytherin women supremacy wait and you know what i don't think i've ever had like a friend or got along really well with someone who's a gryffindor and like i know these are gross generalizations to make uh generalizations that we probably shouldn't make but it's just it's just one of those little coincidences that just keeps popping up for me and it's really hard to ignore that coincidence you know maybe i'm hogwarts housest 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 I feel as though we have gone off on a tangent somehow. I don't know how I don't know how I got here talking about uh, the possible Hogwarts house biases that I I have. Um, but, but here we are. I don't know how I got here, but we're here. What am I supposed to be talking about right now? Kippo. I'm having a great time with it. Setting up my profile, using the app, meeting new people. I'm loving it all. And Kippo's a adorable adorable gamer friendly experience is free to download both for ios and for android i'm running out of oxygen okay okay i'll be sure to have a download link for you guys in the description below uh get a little romance in your life you know get a little friendship in your life like i'm hopefully about to get in mass effect let's get into it y'all okay start a new career Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Thank you. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Alrighty. Profile reconstruction. Due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Oh, is he missing an arm right there? Like his his left arm, his right arm, whatever, depending on your perspective here, his arm looks like it's missing. No, no, actually I see it. It's just like kind of tucked away in the back right there because he's like kind of turned to the side a little bit. Okay, I see, I see what's happening. I understand. John Shepard, um, you look cool. You look pretty cool. Jane Shepard, ooh, you look kind of cooler. I kind of like Jane. Or we could do an enter new ID. Wait, confirm your ID as CDR? What is CDR? John Shepard, Alliance Marine. Confirm your ID as CDR. Jane Shepard, Alliance Marine. Enter new ID. Manually enter career info and physical stats into the Normandy crew database. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's for people who've like played the original game. So I'm just going to not do it. <laughs> I'm going to pick more of a default option, I guess. Uh, John's cute. But I, I think Jane, I think Jane's cuter, so we're gonna pick Jane. Oh, we can change Jane's name. That, that is quite a mouthful there. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to do my name? Or am I supposed to just pick any name? <gasps> can I pick a swear word? No, maybe I'd be stuck with it for like the rest of the game if I did that. But it would be weird if I did like my own name. Or maybe it wouldn't be. You know, if I was playing by myself, I might do my own name. But because I'm doing um, this game with you guys, I might choose just like a favorite name. Let's do... Let's do a name after one of my favorite characters of all time. Let's do Sasha. <laughs> Please log in to access your profile. Sasha Shepard. It kind of has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Profile reconstruction complete. Name Sasha Shepard. Origin Earthborn. Reputation Soul Survivor. Does something happen to us where we're going to be like the Soul Survivor? Is that what that designates? Uh, class Soldier. Okay, once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. I suppose it's good that we d really didn't choose, like, something inappropriate then. <laughs> um, I hope you guys like this name, because I think we're going to be using it for the rest of this game now. <laughs> Identification confirmed. Uh, combat difficulty normal. You know what? Let's, um, let's not change any of this stuff. Let's just keep it all at the default, and then we'll change it if we need to. <laughs> Well, Someone's what about reflection. Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Oh, is that me? Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. So we're a badass. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. Soul survivor. She serious emotional scars. <laughs> My favorite kind of character. Every soldier has scars. <laughs> Shepard's a survivor. Oh, survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Wow. That's Ludina. the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Ambassador Dina sounds like a bitch. 
Udina. And, oh, in the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. Wow, I feel like I had to read that so quickly because I was so afraid that it would just like go away any any moment, any time. Um, I read it so quickly, I don't even understand what I read. I, I have no idea what information just went into my head because it just went out another ear. Oh, is this us walking? We're on a tiny ship in the middle of a large galaxy. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. So we must be kind of important. People are like nodding to us. I'm gonna try and hold on to a lot of the questions that I have right now because I'm sure they'll it all be it will all be revealed in time. Oh, we have a cute butt! Oh, thank God! I love it when our characters are hot. Oh, I wonder if this game is in like third person. Probably is, right? Okay. So, what's this big ship? Well, whatever just happened looked cool. I don't know Thrusters, what it, what it check, was, but it looked nice. <laughs> check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. Hmm. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Star Wars-y kind of characters. So we have different, like, I species and stuff in this game, Minus huh? gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Specters, paranoid. the species? The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I must be an idiot because I have very little idea what they're talking about. Well, this this is aggressive. I don't want to just I don't want to just agree, but it feels aggressive to say you're overreacting or cut the chatter. But cut the chatter has an exclamation point, so I'm going to pick overreacting. You always expect the worst. Oh, I like her voice. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason. So, what are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Wait. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Could Nihilus hear that, what Joker said there? I didn't get it. Um, I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Oh, yep, we're in third person. Um, um, okay, okay. I'm overwhelmed and it's been two seconds. Press the options button to access the mission computer and view journal and something. Oh, but I could talk to all these people. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Okay, well, well. Just mind your business, Joker. Just mind your business. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. All right. I, I guess I'm a little too nosy. Oh, I'm supposed to look at this, huh? Okay, I can save. I got journal. I got squad. I got codex. What is codex? I think that's another language. <laughs> the Alliance is the government and military of humanity beyond soul. Uh, background profile for Commander Shepard. Oh, lordy. You know, let's read all this. Make sure we have as much information as we can get right off the bat so we have a better understanding of what we're dealing with here. You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. Child of the streets. You learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the megatropolises of humanity's homeworld. Eager to find a better life, you joined the Alliance military when you came of age. You volunteered for an expedition to Akuse. 
Akuz, um, a lush world on the outskirts of the Alliance space that had suddenly dropped off out of contact. Arriving on the surface, your patrol found the settlement intact, but no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Maz struck. Mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles, tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Oh my goodness. Uh, 50 Marines died in Akuze, and you were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. Soul survivor, yes. A monument on the planet commemorates the massacre, a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars. Huh. I wonder if survivor's guilt is gonna play a role in any of this. All right, so let's see what we can read here. I don't want to read this, actually. Is this important? Because I don't want to do it. I'm just going to skim it real briefly. 2069, that's pretty close to our future. Um, first human settlement on another world. Is the Luna the moon or is Luna a different moon for a different, you know, I'm not going to concern myself with it. There, there's, ooh, ooh. Actually, do you know what's scary? about this. Do you know what's terrifying? There's been a lot of online discourse lately about how life on Earth, at the rate that we're kind of continuing to pollute Earth, um, it's, a, it's gonna end in like the next 20 to 30 years. Like life as we know it is just kind of gonna be done. Like we won't have fish to eat in 20 years and um, there might be a huge issue of repopulation to some degree because um, of all the microplastics and I haven't done a lot of peer-reviewed research on um, climate change but I've, I've just seen a lot of the the panic online as of right now I, I know I need to do more research but I haven't gotten to it yet but anyway it's interesting that that's kind of my social media feeds right now and now we're playing a game where in 2152, roughly 30% of the children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. I just think that's kind of relevant in a very scary sort of way. <laughs> oh, Commander Shepard was born in 2154. Okay, you know what? Maybe some of this is kind of important. Wait. Oh, you know what? Okay, I didn't want to read this, but skimming it, I I'm kind of thinking I need to read it. So <laughs> give me a second. 2069, Armstrong Outpost, like Neil Armstrong, like, at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, 2103, Lowell City in Eos Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Lowell, there's a, there was a, a Lowell Observatory, Lowell's Observatory, where I went to school at Northern Arizona University. There was an observatory where they discovered like Pluto or something. I'm wondering if that has any relation to Lowell City. Probably not, but I'm thinking there could be. Um, 2137, Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. 2142, construction of Gargarin uh, Station Jump Zero begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. Prospectors discover the Prothean ruins at Promethei, a planet on Mars. 2149, translation of Prothean data leads humans to the Karen Mass Relay, a systems alliance founded to coordinate uh, explore, exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. Shipping accident in Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities to containers of dust form element zero. Oh, so you know, maybe it's good that we read that because I was assuming that the cancerous growths for the children of Singapore was a result of like global warming and shit, but no, it was um, a shipping accident. So maybe it's good that we took the time to read this, you know? I feel like we're we're getting immersed in the world, you know? Alliance begins construction of Arcturus Station. Uh, 2152, roughly 30% of the children, you know, we read that. Systems Alliance um, begins settlement of Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Demeter. 2154, Commander Shepard born. That's me. 2155, Systems Alliance occupies completed portions of Arcturus Station as a headquarters. 2156, some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. That's interesting. I did not expect to see us go in that direction at all. 2157, Turians encounter human explorers, first contact war, occupation and liberation of the human colony of Shangxi. Shangxi? Um, humans learn potential of biotics, an international effort to track element zero exposures begins. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. Okay. 
I don't know what biotic abilities are exactly. Uh, Systems Alliance Parliament formed. Humans establish embassy on Citadel. Batarian slavers attack the Alliance colony of Mindor. Mindoir. Uh, Skillian Blitz. Pirates and slavers attacked Elysium, the human capital in the Skillian Verge. Thresher Maws devour the Alliance colony of Akuze, which is why we're the sole survivor, right? In retaliation for the Skillian Blitz, an alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers on the moon of Torfin, and 2183 is the current date. Now, if I knew how to do math, I'd be able to find out Shepard's exact uh, birthday age. I don't want to do that. I dislike math, so I don't know how old they are, and I will not be calculating that very simple nope, won't be doing it. Well, I think I'm glad we took the time to read it. Um, I only understood about half of it, but that's okay. I'm assuming it's all okay. So let's take a look at squad. Oh lordy, there's menus. <laughs> I don't like menus. <laughs> the squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the keypad to select a talent or its rank. Press X to spend talent point to gain a rank in the selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Oh, I hope I don't have to spend too much time in here. Uh, I am notorious for just struggling with basic menus. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in here at all right now. If you guys like complain about it in the comments, I'll spend more time in there. Um, journal. Oh, this is just telling us what we're supposed to do. Captain Anderson in the comm room. Okay, let's finally go to the comm room now. Is that where I came from? That's where I came from over there. Where, where do I find the comm room? There's probably a map. So we have a mini-map down there. Just saw him. He marked Violet. He was on a mission. The inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Hmm. Okay, can I talk to all of these people? I grew up on Eden Prime. Oh, wait. It shows up above. There's something Nile is into. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I want the drama. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Ooh. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? So we don't like add up. Nile, do we? I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Alrighty. Cool. Oh, it tells us on the mini map where we're supposed to go. I'll just talk to everyone I can then. Is this person I just, yeah, that's the person I just talked to. Can I talk to any of these guys? Doesn't look like it. I think I can talk to this person. Maybe this person. Let me talk to this person. Corporal, no, they're not here. Oh, but this is where I'm supposed to go. I think these are the suppo no, these aren't the people I'm supposed to talk to, but I'll still talk to them. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. I love her voice. Um, part of the job, Doc. Marines are meant to fight. He just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, okay. Doc, but this waiting is <laughs> killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a specter on board. Thanks for the lecture, Doc. Um, I'll do, I'll be reassuring. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody a knows coos, what you can do. I pronounce this it. is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. There's no rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Hmm. Hmm. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally not well Nihilus. respected <laughs> by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. This young one is very excitable, isn't he? What do you know about the Spectres? 
Only what I've heard. Nihilus is a Spectre? Spectre agents or is he work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at so any that's why they're cost. called Spectres. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Ooh. Um, why don't we have any this. of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Could I be accepted hey, Commander, into their ranks? Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. So I'm like clearly like a legend or something. Like, I, it seems as though I should not have survived a coos. Yet I did. Here I am, being a boss ass bitch. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I. I didn't mean to offend you. I I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? Uh, we just asked that question, right? Um, How do this? you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. Hmm, the Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Did you say romantic? I'm kidding. I just got really excited for a moment. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. It's a Normandy no real ship? There. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Okay, I think we covered everything. What can you tell me about Oh god, Nihilus? no, I don't want to listen to it again. I wish once we, Their fleet has like, no patrols protecting clicked on an option and heard the dialogue option, I, I wish it would just get rid of the dialogue option so I wouldn't have to hear it again if I accidentally press on it again because I wasn't sure if I heard it. But now I have to listen to it again. The first I wish you would just get rid of the option. As for now, <laughs> I have the captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so I feel there's a lot of information being thrown at us right now, and I'm not gonna panic like I, I tend to do. Oh, thank you for saluting, soldier. Yeah, that's right, I'm your fucking superior. Anyway, there's a lot of information, but I'm not gonna panic. I'm just gonna try and understand as much as I can. Can I press on it? Oh, I can, okay. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Kind of sounds like a robot. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. What if it's not? What Eden if it's not Prime any of those things? something of a symbol for your people. Hasn't it? What if it's completely Proof in that ruins? humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? He's kind of hot. Like, his voice? Kind of hot. Um, uh, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shape. <laughs> what everyone was, it's literally what everyone was uh, gossiping about, was suspicious of. I, I don't know what I should pick. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. What are we picking up? That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Yeah, yeah, what are we picking What's up? The payload, Captain. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What's Prothean again? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. There are so many new remains. words. The mass relays, <laughs> the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Mm. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. 
We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Okay. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, I want to choose everything. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate. Evaluate me for what? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Am I going to be accepted into something? The, Council. the thing? The Spectres represent the Council's power. Am and I? Oh, am I being accepted? Accept a human into their ranks. And that's why he's evaluating it shows me. How yes. Far the Alliance okay. Has come. Not many could okay. have survived what you went All through right. on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live. A particularly useful talent. You say it's talent, That's but what if it was just luck? Name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. <gasps> yes. Okay. Okay. You put my name forward. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Okay, so Nihilus's species is Turian, but the Spectres are a group that any species can kind of join if they're like cool enough. <laughs> that, that's what I'm what I'm thinking is happening here. Um, what's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Oh, I'm gonna disappoint. Be the first of several <laughs> missions together. I'm definitely gonna disappoint. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Um, I'll just try to get as much information as I can. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. 50,000? Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. It seems like... Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. What if some sort of space threat killed all the Protheans? And then that same space threat is going to be the biggest thing that we're going to fight against now. Food for thought, food for thought. Okay, so we asked about Protheans. Let's ask about Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, We'd still be stuck on Earth. I think that we read that. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What, what if it's a weapons archive? What if it's just a weapon? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. What if it's going to kill us and wipe us out? Have you thought about that, Captain? Have you? Have you? Um, wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. He's the tall, too. The last thing the Council <laughs> wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay. Um, I feel like we got everything, so I'm ready to Just go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh no. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Did Eden Prime get destroyed? Because it it's a screen. symbol of everything that we like and that's good or whatever? Oh, it looks like it's being currently Get destroyed. Down. You know what? Maybe this beacon's gonna be kind of difficult to get to. Some 
sort of space threat. Oh. We should go back to Earth and mind our own business. True story. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. How did he memorize the exact second number? I guess he's pretty smart. Status report. Looks like a giant hand. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Yeah. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. So me, Nihilus, who Grab else is going with us? In the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Elenko and Jenkins? Who are they again? Well, that's not intimidating at all. This is gonna go just great. Just fine. Just Engaging dandy. Stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Maybe they dug up Your something we weren't, the in this they weren't supposed to. Go in heavy and head straight to the dig site. <gasps> what about survivors? We look so cute in our little suit. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Wait. <laughs> drop point one. That sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds not very human at all. I move faster on my own. Oh. I was hoping you could hang out with me. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood, Captain. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. I feel like the lore and the world of Mass Effect is very rich. I don't know how to deal with it. it smells like smoke and death. Oh, wonderful. Oh, God. What happened? Delicious, like tasty. Hostiles everywhere. Ooh, hold on. Can I just? Oh, okay, cool. I know how to shoot now. How do I run faster? I don't know how to run faster. Oh wait, am I supposed to shoot these? Are these bad? Oh, <gasps> these look like bad boys. Oh, oh, that's how I hit. Okay, sorry. What am I doing? Oh shit, there were probably directions, huh? Okay, well I definitely missed the part where there's directions. Massacre! It seems like there was a massacre! Oh! Hello! Hi! Am I supposed to be doing something? Can I climb this? I don't know. Wait, I, I'm confused with the controls. Oh, I was just supposed to go forward. I don't want to know what those things will do to our health before I shoot them. Like, will they hurt me? Are they gonna, like absorb me into their body? Like, what kind of aliens are these? And are they bad? I just shot at them without knowing what they were. Maybe they're good guys. <gasps> what gun is this? Am I supposed to shoot these? I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting. But I like it. I like- I like what I am shooting at. Take out those hostiles! I thought I did. Did I not? Oh. It's weird that holstering our weapon is the touchpad. Rest in peace, soldier. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Fabulous. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But yeah. I need you to stay focused. I'll be sympathetic. Aye, aye, ma'am. Our suit literally looks so good. Like, we look so good in this outfit. Oh my god. I'm so distracted. I won't be able to focus for this entire game if this is what we're going to be wearing for the entire game. She looks too good. It's illegal. Metagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Do I have to- I have to take care of my squad members, not just myself? You're asking too much of me. Omnigel can be used to bypass something. Who needs to be healed? Do you need to be healed? Did I heal myself? Okay, cool. All right, I'll just be moving on then. Oh, 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 oh! I just take cover automatically. That's that's neat. That's very very cool. Okay, so I don't have to be too uh too picky about my aim here. To gain levels, use the squad screen to improve your team's abilities. Press option is button to access the mission computer, then select the squad screen. Try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, uh, like I don't know what that means. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna assume everyone's good and fine and everything. I'm leaving. <laughs> Am I supposed to shoot these guys? I want to. I want to shoot them. Oh, Lord Jesus. 
I have to issue orders. Attack is up, side is specific. Oh lord. Oh god. <laughs> instructions. <laughs> so many instructions. Oh, there's like two little hostiles on my mini map. I'll send this person up ahead. Can I do that? I'm pressing a button. You know what? It's not working. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Ooh, what's this over here? This looks like a- Ooh, it's a shiny. It's a medical kit. I'll just be taking that then. I'll just be picking this up, hopefully. Got some medi gel. Nice. Very nice. Oh, well, he got it already. Okay, so I think I have to heal you. Did I do it successfully? I thought I had a medi gel. You know what? Irrelevant. If you die, you die. <laughs> That does not look fun. like that does that does not look like fun. Okay, so she's wearing a different uniform. Are you evil? I think you're evil. Oh lord have mercy. Oh, I didn't want to sheet that. Wow, I don't know how to do anything. Oh wait, you're a good guy. I was shooting at the wrong person. I'm stupid. I Ashley, we saw you in the video. Okay. Okay, I know who you are. You survived. Wow. Another soul survivor. It's a little club over here. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one who charged your ma'am? Um... Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. I like we tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen Geth. outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. All right, take us there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Let's go. Move out. OK, can I talk to we them? We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. I just gotta... <laughs> I have to go to the menu, I guess. I have to, have to do things, I guess. I've gotta figure out how to spend points. I think I spent points. I'll just auto-level everyone up. Is that acceptable? Is that okay? Don't be mad at me, please. Contrary to popular belief, I am doing the best I can. I'm overwhelmed with a wealth of information. See, that does not look like a fun death. This does not look ideal to me. Wait, oh, are those humans? They don't look very human-y. What happened? What happens to their bodies? Okay, so no, she definitely said something and I definitely missed whatever she said. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this the waypoint? How do I run? Oh, well, I don't know how to crouch. No, oh, I, do I crouch like this? This? No. I don't know how to crouch. I'm just gonna assume that it's okay. <laughs> there's, there's a huge learning curve whenever we start a game. Ooh. Okay, how do I detonate the grenade that I just threw? Hold, oh, I have to hold it. Oh, that's how I run. Oh, damn, okay. I'm just gonna move forward, I guess. Oh, hello. You look like a bad guy. I think you are a bad guy. To do a melee attack? Oh, oh, Lord Jesus! I didn't know there was something here. I was trying to do a melee attack. I'm not sure if I successfully did one or not. Um. victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. They're using terror as weapon. What? What do all these colors at the bottom of my screen mean? What does the blue and red mean? You probably told me. I definitely missed it. Can I talk to you? That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spike. Yeah. The Geth want us to suffer. Why? Maybe the Geth are working for the space threat with a giant looking hand. I don't know. 
have to open the crate? I don't know what I just did. Okay. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. The geth are after the beacon. Our side or the geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. I like Ashley. She's pretty too. Um. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to check for? You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna move in a direction and hope that that takes care of everything for me. All right. This is how I run. Okay, I'm remembering how to run. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a good place for an ambush. Oh Keep yeah. Guard up. What is up with the? Why are the bodies glowing? Wait, are those us or are those others? Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They're zombies. They're zombies. Oh god, you! I don't want to. It's coming! It's coming towards me! Why am I crouching? In the middle of the fight. How do I stop crouching? How do I stop crouching? Wait, I'm scared. Why am I crouched? I guess we're staying crouched, y'all. I guess we're staying. We're, we're stuck. We're stuck crouching for the rest of our lives. Do I have to get headshots? That's stressful. Oh, this is. They're scary. I didn't realize this was a horror game. Anyway, uh, the people zombies were terrifying. Fully expect to run into them again. That door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, he will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface by spending Omni Gel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So repeat the repeat the sequence of button presses before time expires. I'm timed? I'm horrible on timed stuff. Oh god, Jesus. Oh, I did it! You know what? That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. We're fine. We're fine. I don't know why I was freaking out. Humans, thank the maker. So you just let your homeboys die out there, ma'am, sir? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. His head is very shiny. Oh, there's a lot to ask them about. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. Dr. Manuel, we take a breath. Outside, Calm down. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Good job, Dr. Warren. Good job. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here leader before of the, the enemy. attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. They saw. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Did they see a different Turian? Can you tell Sabotage? me anything about the beacon? I don't know. It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances, who knows what secrets are locked inside. We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. I think he's in shock, Manuel, please. or this isn't the time. he's incredibly intuitive. One Can of you tell two. tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Wait, I already looked at that. I'm stupid. Groundbreaking medical Have I looked at everything? Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast. It bothers me Unleashed so much that the they darkness. don't get rid of options if I've no, already well, pressed please. on them. This isn't the time. That's so annoying to me. Assistant? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. 
Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. I love that she's just if casually talking about him in front to of him. see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Just sounds a little him depressed. I an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Oh, God, Jesus. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme. I thought that was the only option there. You can't there. just go around whacking people in the head. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. Wait, I thought that's what I, I was supposed to do. You're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Oh, Nihilus! Hi! What's up? I'm scared. They're zombies. Get the zombies. Saren. Oh, is this the... Oh, you look evil. Nihilus. They know each other. He's Tarion too? Or Tarius or whatever? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The crazy scientist dude saw one of his kind. Some help on this one. It was sabotage of some kind. Death here. The situation's bad. I think he's evil. Don't worry. Saren's evil. I've got it under control. Evil! 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 No! Nihilus! I liked him. I bet he's dead. I, I just, I bet he's fucking dead. Oh, am I supposed to go this way? Oh, oh, I think I've been discovered. I think I've been discovered. I'll just crouch down. And I will carefully... How much damage does it take to kill one of these? Okay, how do I switch my weapons again? I forgot how to switch my weapons. You know what? Maybe it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe that will work. Ah! Oh god, Jesus! It's like so close to here! Oh, this is scary. This is scary! Okay, clearly headshots are the way to go, but... Fun fact, I don't know how to do headshots very well. Okay, I'm gonna heal us. Maybe, maybe that was important to do with the Medigel. We got Medigel. Okay, I need to figure out, y'all, how to how to switch weapons. Okay, I know how to uncrouch now. That's that's the first order of business. Not in the middle of a fight! Oh, we're still fighting? I didn't know. Oh, I know now. Oh, let me crouch down again. Hold on. You know what? The gameplay's growing on me. Now, if only I had a way um, to switch weapons. Maybe, is it this? Oh, it is! Oh, I know how to switch weapons now, y'all! Oh, this would have been so much more useful than whatever the fuck I was using. It's okay. It's, a. Uh, it's, a. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. It's all good. Overriding. Okay! Everybody stay calm out there! We're coming out, we're not armed! Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. Oh. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Okay, I I think that was everything, right? Oh, I think that was everything. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Yeah, give me the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going on? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? 
I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This should help. Let's move out. I like being calm and rational and mostly nice. You know? I I vibe with that. Reduce to Omnigel? I don't think I want to reduce that to Omnigel. I'll just take it. I took it, right? I think I took it. Smells like oh, you've already said that. We're just a small I came here to get away from the stress of living on Earth. Yeah. Yeah, that seemed to really work out well for you, didn't it? Alright, so is Nihilus dead? What's this thing? Can I rummage around for parts? Can I scavenge at all? Is that my breathing that I hear or is that someone else's breathing? Am I alone? <gasps> wait! 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 Wait a damn minute! Wait a damn minute! I saw something pop up on my screen! Commander, it's Nihilus. He did not have side character who would die within the first mission type of vibes. I thought Nihilus was pretty dope. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? Is he a witness? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. Maybe he's a witness. My name's Pal. I saw what he happened. He is a witness! Arturian. The other one shot him. Tell me what happened. I need to know how Nihilus died. Uh, the other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. Yeah. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Um... I feel like he just told us all of this. Do I really have to ask all of this individually? Hold on, hold on. Also, isn't Nihilus a part of that really elite soldier force that he was inviting us to because we were going to be accepted into the elite soldier force? So why did Nihilus not feel the vibes? I felt the vibes. I felt that something was off, but Nihilus? Couldn't? And now Nihilus is dead. Well, maybe he isn't really that uh, elite of a soldier after all. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Why? Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Fair. You survived because you're <laughs> lazy? <laughs> I love that for him. If you snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Fair, fair. Do I... I feel like he addressed all of this stuff. Do I have to ask him again? Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending. I, actually, the next, I have I heard this before. Swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. I don't know if I've heard this before. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Maybe because you were taking a nap for some of it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... it was huge. Oh! Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. You know and that claw hand that we noise. saw on the this, video feed? This sound that Is that the mothership? Right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Hmm, so it's an effective alarm clock, huh? We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. All right. <laughs> I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Do what you need to do, buddy. Okay, so... Uh, talk to a dude. Is there anything to scr Am I... Ooh, ooh. I will be exploring all of this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, the music's kind of amping up. Is there gonna be enemies to fight? 
Oh, 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 I think there's enemies. I think there's enemies. But where are the enemies? Oh, are they behind me? Why is it? It's not letting me crouch. Weird. Okay, this must be the way I'm supposed to be going. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Okay, there's one more coming our way. Can I scrounge from these guys at all? Oh, now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck in a corner. Where is it? Oh, oh, it's over here. I see. They're, they're not even shooting in the right direction, are they? I'm just gonna throw a grenade over there. Maybe that'll do something. Is he dead? I don't know if my grenade did anything. Oh, I don't think it did. Well, that's good to know. That's cool. I'm a little busy here. Are there any more? Oh, there's another enemy. Wait, is it a big boy? Oh my god. Hold on. Maybe I need to heal people. All right, cool. Cool. I'll just be moving forward then. Maybe I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? The middle of a fight. I don't even see what they're shooting at, so I'm just going to move forward. What are they? What are they? Sh oh, oh, I know what they're shooting at now. Come here. Come here. Okay. And then I've got a wheel. This is a lot. I'm just going to stick with whatever I have right now currently. What if I throw a grenade all the way over there? Maybe I don't have a grenade to throw. There's like one more. Is it a big boy? It doesn't... Whatever they're doing, whatever my companions are doing, I don't think they're being very helpful. Okay. Oh, this was a mistake. Okay, I think they're dead. Nice. Okay. I'll heal us. How do I know if I'm running out of medigel? I think I can just continue going this way. All right, we're on the 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 thing that the guy whose name starts with an S. This dude, I think, he was also on the thing that we're Set on. Set the charges. Destroy the entire oh, no. colony. Leave Sarah, no evidence that's the name. that we were here. He has very evil eyes, doesn't he? He's being beamed up. Oh. Am I supposed to kill these little dudes? Wait, oh, they're not so little. He was crouched. I thought he was like a ball of something. Um, no, he, he's a... He's a grown one. He's a tall one. He's a... He has height. What even am I supposed to be shooting at right now? There's no one to shoot! Wait, y'all, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, the music's a little weird. Wait, I have a timer. Wait, why Why do I have a timer? Where are my instructions? Where are my directions? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Four charges remain of what? Hello? Oh! The death must have planted them. Okay. Hurry, we need to find them all and shut them down. Okay. All right. That, that felt weird. That felt a little odd. Okay, now there's people to shoot, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I even got that shot. Okay, they have, like, shields and shit. Oh, I thought I had that shot. Okay. Time limits make me so nervous. <sighs> okay, I'll just move forward. Try to get a better angle, I guess. Oh, someone has like a sniper. Jesus, what's jammed? Hold on, hold on a minute. What is going on? Oh. <laughs> my health, my health is in a scary place right now. Is there someone behind me? What are they shooting at? Oh, someone right there. Oh, I missed the shot completely. Oh, still missed the shot completely. You know, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna move forward, yeah? Okay, so there's another flag on my mini-map. I think that's that's the stuff I'm supposed to disarm. Oh. Okay, we're doing it, I think. Okay, two charges remain. Okay. There's a few more 
There's another flag. Found another flag. Hopefully my team is covering me. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I think I'm being shot at. I think I'm being shot at. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? The one charge remaining. Ah. My teammate is literally in my way. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, there's another flag. I need to go find the other flag. Hold on. Oh, oh, you're here. Wait, what's happening? What happened right there? That was scary. <sighs> what was going on? That perspective was whack. Oh, is this the last one? We might be okay on time. <laughs> Despite the fact that I feel like the game didn't tell me any sort of instructions for like a full minute. Okay, now what do I do? Any more people to kill? Oh, I think there's still one more person. There's one more person on my mini-map. You know, I like mini-maps. I think Red Dead has prepared me really well for mini-maps, you know? <laughs> oh, what's that sound? What's that sound? That's a scary sound. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, there's someone right here. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just gonna switch weapons then, I guess. Oh god! Oh! Oh lord! Lord have mercy. I'm gonna heal y'all again. Okay, okay. Oh. This makes me nervous. Oh my god! That's terrifying! I can't see because my friends are in the way! Oh, I think we did it! I think we're good! Maybe- do you think we can explore this area for goodies? It used to be beautiful here. Yeah, it's no longer beautiful here, huh? Oh, there's something here. Just take whatever that was. <laughs> oh, there's a storage locker. Okay. Very nice, very cool. I don't know what that was, but seems neat to me. Can I fall off? No, I can't. <laughs> I was wondering though. Okay, we have another storage locker. Just be taking all of that. All right, let's go to the X on the map. You know, I'm so glad we. Oh, is this the? Is this the beacon? Like the beacon? Holy shit! Normandy. The beacon is secure. Is I don't know how we're gonna like. How, how are we gonna transport that? Unbelievable! It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated. For whatever reason, I did not expect the Roger beacon Normandy, to look like this. By. It's like calling to him. Oh! Oh, it's drawing him in! Okay, now it's gonna draw us in, I guess. Did, we <laughs> Did the beacon just fucking explode? Did the beacon just explode? And we're like, definitely injured, maybe dead. Beacons exploded. Yeah, I would call this a, a successful mission. <laughs> oh, oh, is that the claw that we saw in that, um, that feed? That, you know, that, that, that feed where we saw what's-her-face for the first time, Ashley? Ashley? <clears throat> we identified the Hello. ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Hello. <laughs> the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. She's lovely. They managed to <laughs> save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I take it he's not very happy about that. <laughs> this human must be eliminated. Are they a thing? Are those two a thing? Okay, that was a really weird cutoff. Some of the audio cuts off so jarringly, so abruptly. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. Okay, so we're alive. I think she's waking up. Did the beacon imbue us with some sort of special magic power of some kind? 
Is that what's happening? What's, what's happening here? You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Hey, Doc. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something Quite happened down there time. with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Um, don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. She sounds like Marlo from Uncharted 3, exploded. doesn't she? The system overload, maybe. Same the blast kind of like knocked you cold. Older lady, and Chrissy. And I had to carry you back here to the shed. Accented voice. Um, one second. Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I think we have special powers now. I think we have special powers. Rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Ooh, let's just do this. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. So just the future? Hmm. I better <laughs> add this to my report. Sorry, just the way she said, hmm, after oh, we were Captain hearing Addison. things. How's our Thinking about the death up? and the destruction, well, the she goes, normal. hmm. The command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Wait, so wasn't the beacon like 200 years worth of like technology advancements and it just blew up? Captain Anderson over here is probably like, damn, I wish I had the beacon instead of you and your life. Like, he's probably really fucking disappointed. Um, let's just go down the list. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Well, I didn't get the beacon, and Jenkins is dead. Beacon exploded, and I got injured. I guess, you know, I did do a good job, Captain Anderson, didn't I? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Loki, I forgot who that is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, good? Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Was that Ashley, or is that Lieutenant someone else? Lieutenant agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. There's a lot of new names. I'm trying to keep them straight. But, uh, it's difficult. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Like, do you think Command or whatever was purposely trying to get us in there to, like, wipe us out or something? Was it sabotage? Was it sabotage? You said you needed to thing. see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Okay, that's cool. I didn't do cool. anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. Okay. That other Turian. The one that killed... Saren's a specter. One of the best. What's his A living face? legend. But if he's working with the Geth... It means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Space racism for the win. <laughs> Wait, so Saren's gone rogue, but didn't... Maybe it was the doctor. Didn't someone mention something about when, like, a specter goes rogue? They just send in another specter to take out the rogue specter? That seems simple. Do that. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. The beacon that we You were there just before that beacon self-destructed? And then... Did you see anything? Blew Any up. clue yeah. that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... vision. A vision? A vision of what? Maybe warning? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering. I don't know how she can even make out anything that she saw. I got flashes we of like orange. To the and that's it. <laughs> sure. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. 
he believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Yeah, sounds like y'all need to do something about him then. Send in another Spectre to take him out. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. Wait, He's who's gonna spectre. evaluate me now that what's he his face is dead? Anywhere, do almost anything. That's I, why I keep we need the council name. on our side. I want to be a specter. So who's gonna who's gonna like evaluate me and train me now that what's his face is deceased? We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, so we have a plan. We have a plan. The sound design is really good um, in this game because I keep like wanting to look over here. I'm like, is something making an electronic whirring noise? Is my computer making a noise? Is like my monitor? But I think it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just the in-game um, audio. So whoever engineered that or whatever, good job, good job. I, I keep thinking it's in my real life. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yay! Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Yay! <laughs> Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. Yeah. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Maybe this one? You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, Wait, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get Wait. a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. So coos was a few Can years you, ago. Uh, hmm. Tell me why? I thought it was more recent for whatever reason. Um, I'll just say it. <laughs> the captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. I like Caden. Caden's cool, but um. He mentioned something about biotics. Isn't that special powers? Does he have special powers? Ashley? I'm glad you're okay, Wait. Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. I thought Ashley looked way different. Maybe it's just because she's out of uniform, but I thought she had different hair. Whatever. Okay. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Uh, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Learned it, I guess. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, gotta speak to Joker. Yes, Commander? I'll talk to you Is first. Is there something you need? Ooh, what kind of tea do you have to spill, Dr. Chakwas? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. <laughs> too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. Did you figure I right? to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. Did you want to fall in love? <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. I'm getting a little confused between Alliance, Citadel... Council, like, it's starting to all run together, but I, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to keep it all straight. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, <laughs> or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Uh, wait, so we, that was personal questions, Captain Anderson. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I do, however, have like a 
mistrust of authority figures. Do you? Th he better not be evil. Like Captain Anderson better be a good captain. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna riot. I'm gonna be upset <laughs> if he's like evil or something. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. It's an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Like what? what kind of complications? That Severe mental again. disabilities, insanity, oh. crippling physical pain. Oh, Jesus. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. That doesn't seem very lucky at all. Migraines... They're they're so terrible. They make me feel so powerless when I get them. I, the only thing I can do is sleep because I can't watch TV. I can't read. I can't work. It just takes everything out of you because it's it's so painful. A bottom line, I, I don't know what she's saying by he just gets migraines. Like <laughs> migraines are nothing to joke about, you know. Wait, did we just do this one or did we do that one? Oh no, I have done but this one. No, I, I heard. Right? I've already pressed Over on this one. It's not easy. Being Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. Okay. All right. So you're Caden. You were. You have the L2 system instead of the fancy L3 system. You have migraines. You know, I'm actually really liking to getting to know some of these people. It's unfortunate that I didn't get to know Jenkins because I, I really don't care too much about the fact that he passed away because I just don't feel like I knew him at all. I really like Doctor Chakwas, um, and I like Caden. I'll try to remember that. Oh, what? Oh, is this like an elevator? I'm gonna climb on inside the elevator then. Can I move? I can't move. <laughs> um, in the Normandy's vehicle bay, using a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Um, oh god, no. Menus. <laughs> Not the menus. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to exit out of that. Okay, yeah, so Ashley, I for some reason thought she had blonde hair but apparently she had dark hair because we just spoke to her a few minutes ago. But like, for some reason with this suit, like, I just did not recognize her. Anyway, I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Fair. Well, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Show me Let's them see goods. What you, got. <laughs> you bet, Commander. Um. Oh, this is overwhelming too. You know what? You know what? I'm just I'm just going to I'm going to ignore all this under the pretense of I am saving money. That's my excuse for skipping all of this this time. <laughs> um I think isn't Joker like in the very back cuz this was the very first like cutscene in the game. Oh yeah, he's right there. He's right here. Good timing, commander. I was just about to bring us into the citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. All right. So the citadel is just like our home landing site. This is this the citadel? Wait, maybe not. Really like the colors. <laughs> Looks like a shell. And the music makes me feel full of wonder. You know. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> I'm just saying you need firepower, too. All right. <laughs> Look at All right, monster. Joker, I see its you. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. That's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. So this is a remastered, right? Not a remake? The orchestra sounds so full right here, doesn't it? Full body. Oh! 
Okay. <laughs> oh. It's like a little this inside. Is an the council Utopia. would step in if the Geth attacked a City. Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the well, Terminus well. systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing. I don't trust before. any of those guys. I feel like they're corrupted somehow. Oops, sorry. Captain Anderson. <laughs> I see you brought half your crew with you. Yeah, you got a problem Just with that? Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I don't like the Council. I bet they're all in on it somehow. Um... Well, it's the truth. <laughs> Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. How? The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Well, sir, neither but of those Saren's were my fault. fault. Yeah, hers. yeah, exactly. You tell him, Anderson. I hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> Let me just say something before I forget. I like how different every person looks. Like, I just see a little bit of diversity in just the, the facial models, you know? I, I like that. Uh, not everyone looks the same. What's this thing? This feels illegal, what I'm doing. Oh, I fucked it up. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> Omnigel? Wow, I'm offended by this. I'm offended by my mistake, quite frankly. Maybe I'll just go through here. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Go down. The arrow's pulsing, so maybe I Oh! Hello, beautiful blue lady! Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. The Presidium looks really cool. Very modern. How do I Greetings, talk to you? Greetings, and there welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout the Presidium. Spontaneous and predetermined in the same I may sentence. Also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals should you require assistance. Cool. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal One. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower where the council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Ooh, yeah, let's let's squeeze as much information out of her as we can. I want to know more about Citadel Security. <laughs> Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. I'm not gonna lie, I spaced out during that entire thing, I'm sorry. Tell me about the embassies. <laughs> I'm paying attention right Each now. species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy. Roughly 2,384 <laughs> galactic I'm trying years so ago. hard to pay attention. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added mm -hmm. 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Wait, so maybe this is one of the reasons why 
Saran Wrap, Saran Wrap was like teaming up with the Geth because he's like bitter about humanity kind of like moving too quickly, like kind of cutting the line maybe, cheating a little, not cheating, but like playing the system maybe? I have no idea what's happening. I'm doing the best I can. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. So it's natural they that they were the first ones? They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. Oh. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints. I'm going to say that in the, the future. Citadel tourist and visitor board. I apologize if my personality has offended you. That's my new favorite phrase. Okay, I feel like I pressed that one. I pressed this one. I think I got those first two. I think I still have specters. To Do you know on. anything about specters? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial <sighs> rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. Which sounds... Like, they're just asking for trouble. The fact that they don't answer to law or authority except the council itself. That just seems like a problem. That seems like a system that could use a few more checks and balances, if you ask me. But then again, what do I know? What can you tell me Nothing. about the Citadel Council? I don't know if I've Originally, even pressed this or not. The council consisted of representatives from no, the no, 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 wait, I have clicked on this. The two dominant species in Citadel space. I don't think I have clicked on this. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago. Wait, maybe not. were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful know. coexistence know, of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Oh no, I haven't. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. I think that was everything, y'all. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And Goodbye. Thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your um, visit to the Citadel. I want you to know that I tried very hard to understand all of that. I definitely failed, but the effort was there, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit. See, see what's up, see what's happening. Oh, look how pretty this looks. This looks so futuristic. It's kind of cool. You know, there was a, I, I picked up a few episodes of The Expanse um, with patrons for patron uh, movie night. And this looks very similar to a place in The Expanse with that kind of like fake looking sky. Cause I don't think that's a real sky. Unless of course it is. But it looks kind of fake to me. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Hello, sir. Creature, sir. Yeah, I'll just be minding my own business. What's the- oh, this is just another Avena. Is it gonna be the same- she's gonna give me the same information as the last Avena? Okay, I know I should investigate all of this. That's all for now. But I don't want to. Thank you to. for using Avena. Have a pleasant Okay, alright, don't be mad at me. Alright, you have to prove to the Citadel Council that Saran Wrap one of their Spectre agents has gone rogue, but I don't know how to do that exactly. Go to the Citadel Tower at the Presidium for an audience with the Council. How do I get to the Presidium Tower? How do I- Oh, I'm lost already. Oh, great. I love being lost in unfamiliar fucking cities like this. Oh god, y'all. Like, the game's giving me directions, and let me just tell you this. I don't like directions very much. I think I have to take the rail, or whatever. Yeah. 
and I should go to the tower. That's where I want to go, I think. Right. Right. Okay, we've arrived at the tower, and now we want to get, like, an audience. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hi, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Uh, what did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of I knew his that. activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. But I want to talk Good to Garrus Shepard. more. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe they won't. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure they will. I think I can just like go forward, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in here. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait, I can't even go in there. Oh, that's embarrassing. What are these little creatures doing? I, don't, I like I just want to the way that they questions. arrange like the flowers and the trees. This is really pretty. I think, should I just like keep going up the stairs or I don't the know? hearing's already started, come on. All right, so so far in this game, forward is usually a pretty safe bet for what I'm supposed to be doing. If I just go forward, the eventually we'll run into a cut scene. Some concern. But there is nothing to Some concern. Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. I don't think they're going to listen to us. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll choose this. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Was that a bad decision to say? Was the that... Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. Great. I'm glad to see justice was served. I'll get you this back, Saran Rap. I'll get you back one of these days. Alright, so that was a fruitful and productive meeting. Like, I don't, where would we even go from here? It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. He's very bitter Every about colony humans. we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. How bad? Tell we me. shouldn't talk Tell about me. this here. Oh. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? 
I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Shadow the Shadow Broker? Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. So there's like he two might things know we can about do? Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Oh, Lord have mercy. Should I? <laughs> I kind of don't want to go through all these dialogue options. So I'm going to go through all these dialogue options. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Yeah, so the council Everyone sucks, Everyone knows huh? it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, mm -hmm. but it looks yeah. like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Okay. So that was... We did Council and the Ambassador, we did Harkin. Let's look at Spectres. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone. Behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? I thought they just send someone in to take him out. It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Yeah. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. I think the Doc. Uh, told us that. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. That's kind of creepy. They want you on their <laughs> side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Should I pick this too? What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Yeah. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Like Saran Wrap. Just being able to get away with trying to exterminate humans. Because he's a specter. <laughs> They're just like, well, there's no evidence really. Guess we're just gonna let this one go. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. It's not a lot. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a specter shows up, you know something big is about to happen. That definitely reaffirms what people were saying in the very beginning. Um, they're like, I feel uneasy on this uh, this, this mission because a specter's here. And it's because when they show up, something big is about to happen. I feel like we're not getting anything new in this conversation with him. Um, he's just like connecting a lot of stuff together that we've gotten in like bits and pieces. And he's just making it a little more cohesive. Um, 
I don't think I've chosen this one. They sound like shadow. Oh operatives. fuck, I did. <laughs> Everything about them is classified. <laughs> Why can't the options disappear if I've are. already pressed them? The latest alliance Would it really have been that hard to implement? I just know this is gonna be like defense. a reoccurring the problem for before us. Open war. I think we've done Council and the Ambassador, Hark, Inspectors. We have these three to do. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay, I think we've gotten everything, but I don't remember if we've already pressed this option or not. You and Saren have a history. No, what I think happened? I pressed this. About 20 years ago. No, I haven't. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So he's effective, but he's, um... Oh, he's a monster. Yeah. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Lordy. Wait, should I? Well, I don't want to press that because I, I don't think I'd do that. I'm done. I think we're just done with the conversation. Go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. So I think that was such a long conversation. Like, I feel like it was important to have that conversation with him. But also, I want to shoot people. I, I Like, where's a zombie? I'm ready to shoot them. All right, so that's where we're actually going to end for today, y'all. Um, thank you so much for watching if you're still here. I forgot to do an outro, so I'm gonna do an outro right now. <laughs> Before we part, I would like to offer you some of my summarizing thoughts on Mass Effect and what I think of it so far. I really like the music. That's something that definitely stands out to me. I like the way everything looks. It's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Um, the combat is something that like, oh my god, my nose is so itchy. Hold on. I'm like suffering right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the combat was something that was unexpectedly nice. I actually really liked the combat. It grew on me and it was just fun to play. Those might be my favorite like gameplay moments is just the moments when we're shooting people. I love that. That That is very much, very much adequate for me. I think that about covers like all the positives of what I feel. Now onto the negatives. This part's fun. Not for you, but definitely for me. I love complaining. So um, I think the biggest thing I'm unsure of when it comes to this game is, am I a science fiction-y person? Am I a science fiction-y type of like and gal? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. The only thing that usually appeals to me about the genre is not usually the genre itself. Hold on, hold on. I can, I can explain. Science fiction, I found, is like okay with me when it's used as a backdrop for a good story and characters that I love. But in general, I don't think I'm a huge science fiction person. So like when I liked Star Wars, I like it not because of the fact that it's in a galaxy necessarily. I mean, I guess it's cool to see like planets and stuff. And I do like the lightsabers. I must admit that the lightsabers are pretty neat. But the reason I like Star Wars more has to do with the fact that I like Han and Chewie and Leia and Anakin. I love my boy Anakin. He might be my favorite. But yeah, Star Wars, I think, is the only science fiction-y thing that I enjoy and it's not because it's science fiction. So that that is something I am a little bit concerned about because uh, I get the impression that Mass Effect is very, very science fiction-y. <laughs> and then I think the only other thing that I'm not overly fond of in Mass Effect has to be the long-winded, detail-oriented, 
conversations about science fiction-y stuff. I'm not a huge fan of that. It's really hard for me to feel stimulated and engaged during those uh, dialogue moments. I'm, I'm just not really vibing with those. Those are my gripes with the game, game, game so far. I would consider doing a part two or just continuing this series under pretty much just one condition. One. One singular thing needs to happen for this to continue to be a thing. If you guys tell me that you want a Mass Effect playthrough from me because you think that you would really enjoy that playthrough, I would not do that. Now if you guys were to tell me that I should do a playthrough of Mass Effect because it would affect me personally, my life, how I perceive the world around me, how I see games, how I see games as a medium as a whole, if you guys were to tell me those things, I would continue this series. I guess what I'm looking for like from you guys, if you're recommending this game to me, is reassurance that the genre and the slower dialogue moments wouldn't overshadow all of the good things that so many people have told me about the series um, and that I would still be able to appreciate all those good things um, in the midst and despite the things that I think are featured pretty prominently in the game. Science fiction and the long conversations. Those two things seem pretty integral to how Mass Effect is telling its story so far. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know some of this stuff. So, that, so that's why I'm asking you. I'd love your opinions. And again, I'm not looking for if you want a playthrough of this series, because that's just not, that, that, that's not gonna convince me. <laughs> I'm looking for you telling me that Mass Effect is going to end up being one of my most favorite games of all time, and that it's going to profoundly impact me personally, and that that's why I need to play it. That's why I need to continue the series. So just keep that in mind when you're typing out your little comments. I'm looking forward to reading them and getting your guys' opinion on this so I can decide what to do with this series. I did enjoy most of what we played today and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video because there, there were there were a few problems with it, as there always are. There are always hundreds of problems whenever I just decide to exist. Um, <laughs> but I hope you guys just enjoyed this, yeah? Um, and I hope you enjoy the next episode of whatever we're doing. And until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys! Anyway, how do I stop crouching? Oh, not like that. How do I stop? How do I just get up? Sasha? Sasha? Oh, god damn it. That was a grenade. I'll just shoot it. Oh, I guess it just... How long did grenades take to, like, detonate? Again. Okay, they take a... They take a hot minute. No, but seriously, how do I get up? Oh, I keep pressing that. Why do I keep pressing that? Now I used Medigel. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know how to get up. Oh. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, this is one of those moments, besties. I was having one of those moments, but I'm no longer having one of those moments. We're fine, we're fine. Anyway, 